What a picture! It took a long time to clean Thomas properly, and the twins kept teasing him until Edward told them to stop. A party of railway enthusiasts is coming soon, he said. I shan't bring them unless you behave. Bill and Ben were excited. Enthusiasts always made a fuss of them and took their photographs. When? they squeaked in unison. Edward smiled and winked at Thomas. Next week, he said, but not if you don't behave. Bill and Ben promised that they would. Is it next week? they asked Thomas each morning. Thomas enjoyed keeping the twins in suspense. Next week never comes, he would answer mysteriously. Bill and Ben went worried. They kept urging their crews to polish them. What's the hurry? they laughed. The enthusiasts aren't going to eat their breakfasts off you, you know. No, Bill whispered, but they might if we were Thomas. The twins thought this a huge joke. It was lucky that Edward and Thomas weren't there to hear it. At last the day came, and the drivers and firemen agreed to give the engines an extra polish. They were sparkling when Thomas arrived with a special train. Many of the enthusiasts had notebooks, and almost all had cameras. Bill and Ben didn't know which way to look, but they loved it. Then the visitors queued up for a ride in either Bill or Ben's cab. Their cabs were low, and several visitors forgot to duck, but they didn't seem to mind. The enthusiast's visit was almost over when a shunter came running up. A ship needs moving before the tide goes down, he said. One of you see to it, please. Ben went at once, and most of the visitors went too, to watch. Only one man stayed. He had a camera which took instant pictures. Just one more, he kept saying. Soon, even Bill tired of him. The photographer screwed his camera to a tripod and pointed it at Bill. This is it, he chortled. What a picture. Ben's fireman ran up to them. Ben needs help, he said. The ship's going aground, and he can't move it on his own. Right, Bill, said his driver. We can't wait any longer. He turned a tap, and with a hiss and a roar, Bill vanished in a cloud of steam. At that moment, the photographer pressed the button. When the steam cleared, Bill was hurrying off to help his twin. The photographer peeled the cover from his instant picture, looked at it, and threw it down in disgust. Quickly, the engines were coupled together. When I say heave, heave, instructed Ben. One, two, three, heave! Come on, come on, puffed the engines. The cable tightened and stretched. At last, with a shudder, the ship slid off the mud and, towed by the engines, glided into deeper water. Bill's driver found the discarded photograph on the floor. All it showed was a cloud of steam with, very dimly, Bill's funnel at the top. He showed it to Bill. What a picture, remarked Bill, to no one in particular. <laughs>